Merhaba guys. What we have here? Look at all of that. It's Turkish time, guys. All the combination of flavors. All of that together, guys, is just boom, explosion. Lütfen meet me, Dene. Please try meet me. Yes, guys, it's Turkish time. Definitely, you know, for us, it was amazing to have the opportunity to get to know some of the Turkish uh, cuisine and everything. And it was very tasty. We definitely came over here because this place has been recommended to us so many times. We want to try a little bit more of Turkish food. And guys, this is going to get very interesting. We already ordered a lot of, a lot of food. Turkish food, you know? So. I'm very excited because previous time um, on the festival, as you can remember, we probably will show some overlays. Um, we tried a lot of in, uh, Turkish food. I, w I was in Lopez Dolma and this a dessert. Oh, I, I still miss it. So today we're definitely going to try that again and a lot of, a lot of, a lot of different things. It is simple. You know that in our channel we do a little bit of everything and we love to try different food. We fell in love with Turkish food. It has a lot to offer, guys. And again, it's just time for us to keep trying different things. This place definitely looks very good. Everybody talk about it. We wanted to come over here, try the experience, and share the experience with you. Turkish cuisine has so many things. So what should I try today? Kebab doner, any kebab, um, falafel, or maybe baklava. What should I choose? We ordered so many things. We had actually the opportunity to talk to one of the owners, help us out a little bit with some of the plates. Mm -hmm. You know, that way we can order the right thing, right, baby? Yeah, so we can, because there is so many things, you don't really know what to order, which is yeah. everything, like, looks so good. You know, if we like something, we just eat, 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 and we don't know how to stop. So we're gonna try this, guys. It's gonna be a little bit of everything we want, from appetizers to the, reg to the regular main plates. And my favorite yeah. Turkish desserts. Yeah, so there's different things. Stay tuned because we're gonna be showing you a little bit of everything. And if you are interested in Turkish food, this video, I'm gonna show you a lot, for sure. Guys, we ordered so much food. Everything looks so good, so delicious already. You can see start with pita, but I put it for now right here because I just need to show you how everything looks. It looks so delicious. I don't even know what to try first. I want my dolma, I want this donor. Mine, not mine, I don't know. <laughs> Follow up, oh my God, guys, everything looks so good. Look at that. This is my plate. Um, It's called a uh, falafel platter. What's a falafel platter? Yeah. Um, you can see there's rice. I'm not quite sure what is that. Is this a salad? Um, it's made of chickpeas, right? And like different herbs. Yep. And of course, salad. I wanted like uh, the most healthy as possible plate, which is here pretty much everything is healthy, right, baby? Yeah, very good. I mean, everything looks, you know, natural flavors, natural uh ingredients and everything is definitely very good what i ordered myself was the donor platter in this i'm gonna have the opportunity to have the rice have the taxidi we're gonna have the different vegetables we're gonna have the uh, uh, you can see the donor the meat right here too which is the beef as well which is the beef and lamb oh yeah it looks so good beef and, actually... lamb. and also beside okay. having the pita bread they also have a little side of rice if that's what you what you would like to have as well mm -hmm. on this end so also we have extra pitas that well that we're gonna be trying with the homos. We ordered so many things, guys. I don't know how it is, but everything looks so good, so we're gonna have to try everything. When you come in actually here, they can give you um, a sample to try because we've been trying this meat, how it was called? That's the uh, lamb, the lamb, lamb for the, lamb. For the yeah. lamb donor. You can receive a sample to try pretty much anything here before you order and it, it's a good thing. We tried this meat, it was so delicious, so we definitely wanted to order some. Yeah, because if that way, by any chance you come and you don't know, let's say that you're like us and you just get into no Turkish food and you come over here, you don't know what to order. You can come to them, they all gonna explain you the right way. They will tell you what to order and also, they will let you try a few things. That way you know, based on your flavor, what you like. Some of the spicy levels, mm -hmm. some with not, a spi not a spicy plates, some of the more vegan style, some of the regular style. So 
come over here, don't be shy, ask them, and they're gonna guide you in the right direction. I'm ready to try, and first thing I'm gonna try, it will be, of course, dolma. Or in the menu here, you can see it's as grape leaves, which is stuffed with, I don't know actually with what those stuff, but probably it's like rice, some vegetables. Yeah, rice, uh, some, some different veggies as well, yeah. yeah. So let's try it. Mm. What do you think? I know we tried that before in the Turkish food festival. It's so fresh, it's so good, it's delicious. I love it. I definitely love it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna give you any of so. <laughs> I remember we even took some home because mm -hmm. of how good they were. Mm-hmm. I love it, it's very good. Those are cool. I mean I know they call it if you, you wanna say, order those them. here they have it like a grape lips. Mm -hmm. But I know they call them dolma. 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 They call them dolma. Okay. Uh, you can say I don't I'm not sure if it's rice inside. I'm not sure what it's about. It's, it's very good guys. Alright. It's definitely very Let's good. Let's keep trying guys. <laughs> So guys, one of the things that you can do here, and they guide me on it, we wanted to try different dessert, uh, different appetizers, you know? But if you order them separately, they you might have to pay a little bit more, you know, because of extra plates. They have one like pick four, and it come out to be cheaper to order a pick four, and it's four different type of appetizers. They can kind of guide you on what the ones that they like, or the ones that might be good based on, you know, the things that you like. Mm -hmm. I wanted to try the hummus because it was very good. You know, it was looking very good, and you can see right here how it looks, baby. So, oh, yeah. of course, the hummus, you can eat it with different things, crackers or everything. I got an, an extra pita bread with it, and I'm gonna dip it on it, you know? I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, guys, but if yeah. I'm not, just make sure you please let me know. But well, this is how I wanna try my hummus today, for sure, you know? After mixing a little bit. Mm-hmm, all the seasoning. Mm. What do you think? Mm. It's hummus good. is very good, oh wow. Mm. And I would say with the pita bread, it just it, it's, the taste go go very good together. Because the pita is very good, you can mix it however you want with the rice or everything. But putting the hummus in, if you want to mix it with something else, guys, and you want to put a little bit of hummus on the food as well, that'd be good. Mm. Let's try another appetizer. It's called, I might be mistaken, it's called Upalos. Upalos. I'm not quite sure, guys. But we put the name on the video, though, so they can see. We put the name it. on the video, but let's see, let me show them what is that. I'm ready to try. I'm ready to try. You got that sauce on top. I think, is that the taxi, the, the tzatziki sauce? Tzatziki, I'm not sure, honestly. It might be, but I'll try and I'll tell you if it's tzatziki sauce. I think it's tzatziki sauce. Mmm. Mm. How's that tasty? That tastes very good, but I'm trying to understand what is that inside. It's very interesting. This is some veggies for sure. Mm -hmm. It's veggies, mm -hmm. but it has like some sweet and spice something inside. I don't know. It, it's very good. Probably the sauce is, is helping yeah. with that flavor too. It's very good. I like it. All right, guys. So this is the red pepper shader. I know this is a little bit more, you got a, a spicy touch a little bit, but it's feta cheese and also the red pepper all together. And there's, of course, you can see different mixtures. I can see their uh, parsley and different type of veggies. Mm -hmm. So of course, that's the magic of the house for sure. And we're gonna try this right now. Mm. What do you think? No, baby, it's very good. I love feta cheese. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. Is it spicy? I love, no, actually it's just a touch. I think, I think you're gonna love it if you try. I know with the spices, you gotta be a little bit careful. It does have a kick. It does have a kick of spicy, mm -hmm. but nothing really too crazy. It's very good. You can see a little bit more right there if you can, mm. if we can focus slightly. We're trying, yeah, it is. Yeah, you got the feta cheese, you got the parsley over there, you got the tomatoes, the red peppers. You have a little bit of everything, but it's a good mixture. It's a good mixture. It feels very refreshing. It feels, you know, not dry or anything. And even though it's spicy, but it's just a slight kick. Anything? Okay, I'm ready to try it myself. Mm. Mm. Yes, Enjoy. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, 
Guys, it feels like we already ate a lot, but guess what? We just on the appetizer menu, guys. Everything was so delicious, so fresh. I just can't imagine what we're gonna, well, how we're gonna taste the main dishes. So I'm really ready to try. I'm so ready for and the main dishes. And another thing, um, the owner of this place, actually they said that all the food we're gonna try here, they actually grow it themselves, prepare it themselves, like everything very healthy. Yeah, one of the owners is the chef, and he's definitely cooking yeah. everything here, so it doesn't cooking get... here, and I think they're even growing it uh, here. Yeah, so. it doesn't get more authentic like that, guys. For sure, we're trying the real definitely deal, it's and, and it feels for very sure. fresh, everything, for sure. Yeah, so I'm ready to try more, and then one specialty thing, Turkish, delicious coffee with baklava. It's time for main dishes, and what I ordered myself to start off, it was the uh, donor plan. Mm -hmm. This is the donor platter. You know, so you have, again, you have the pita bread right here. You got, uh, this is uh, beef and lamb all together. So, but besides having the pita so bread, good. yeah, because you can eat it like this if you want to. But you also have a side of rice. I have all the veggies right here with a little bit of feta cheese. You have potato, uh, this is potato salad. Mm -hmm. And then you have the onions and everything, and of course, this cucumber sauce is the tzatziki. tzatziki. Tzatziki sauce, you definitely have to use it, guys. So, the one I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna... You can put a little bit of everything inside and like wrap it maybe. And kinda, yeah, that could be one thing, is just have a lot of meat. My veggies, they look so refreshing. Mmm, I start them. I think it's great the fact that they put it separately because that way, if you don't wanna have all together, or you can split them up, you know? Mm -hmm. You can take a little bit out, and if you wanna you do your pita, you have your veggies that you can put on top. Mm -hmm. You can put a little bit of rice as well that you can put in there. You can do your sauce, you know? Mm -hmm. You can do your little bit of onions, guys. Put all together over there. This is red onions, but they also seem to have a little bit more of spices as well, you mm -hmm. know? That's some of the secrets of the house, for sure. So I put over there, this is my pita bread. It looks a little messy, but guys, everything it smells that so good. So delicious. Like if you are right That's here and you can smell it, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. You know, if you take a look at it right here, very close, look how it looks on this end, you know? This is pretty much how we try it on the Turkish festival. Mm -hmm. And you can see all the meat, you can see so the sauce, you have the veggies and you have the onions and everything together, guys. So let's have a little bite. It's not gonna be little, it's gonna be a big bite. I just wanna let you know, cause I'm ready to try that too, but that looks so mm. good. What do you think? Mm. What do you think? Mm. Like the meat is so good. Mm -hmm. mm. The meat is so good. And the funny thing about it is that, mm -hmm. okay, you have the meat and you have the pita bread, but when you combine that and you put the the peppers, right? And you put all the tomatoes, the salad, the feta cheese, and you put a little bit of rice, you put the onions, and then you put on top the tzatziki sauce. It's just... Magic happens? It just... Turkish magic. It goes all together, like, come on, guys, like, wow. Mm. Yeah, definitely great choice for me. I love it. Okay, guys, so what I have is a falafel uh, platter. Um, so you can see there's uh, like a salad of tomatoes with cheese on top, with butter cheese, rice. Um, this is potato salad, right? Yes. Mm, I'm not quite sure what is that. Onions and made of chickpeas, like some meatballs. I mean, not meatballs, but it's like some herbs and chickpeas. So let me try it first. Mmm. What do you think, my love? Hmm. That looks so good. I mean, it tastes so that good. It looks very good, for sure. I can feel different herbs. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's like... I never tried some. So it's, like not, it's not like meat related. It's mm -hmm. more like veggie related, mm -hmm. and it got just a regular. It's sauce. more like vegetarian, but yeah. Okay. But I don't think I would try anything like this. It's, it's very different, but mm -hmm. it's, it tastes so good. Okay. It tastes and so that is different. the fala. That is the falafel, right? Mm -hmm. And actually, I taste it good. It tastes very good, baby. It is. It is. It, it tastes delicious. It tastes very but good. But the only thing I'm not sure how to eat it right away. Like if you need to put a little bit of everything in the pita or how, I will try it separately because since I already started. We have so much food to try, but let me try the potato salad. 
Let those, all, all, all of that around is like the sizes. Oh. So this is the falafel, yep. right? And then all of that that you have around is just yes. the sizes. Yes. So let's try it itself. It's good. It's like mashed potato with um, herbs. It's very delicious. It's something I do myself to eat too. So it's, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Mm, what about this dinner we said? They did mention the name of this and that's why I took it. I know I tried because they gave me a sample and it was so good. I can't remember the name of it though, but it I was, it was so good. I don't know what it's that, but it looks to me like it's a carrot with um, nuts. That's what I think, it's carrot, it's carrot too. carrot with nuts. Yeah. And then it got so sweet. Like... Let me try because I think something like this we have in my country. But let me try. Mm. You know what? Something just like this. My grandma used to cook a lot. Oh, really? Do you remember how yeah. they used to call it? Don't remember, but this is very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just like this. It's like some nuts. Mm, I'm not sure. But they got like a little sweet to it, right? I mean, I think it's just uh, carrot. I think it's sweet. Okay. Mm, I'm not sure, but in the nuts. And definitely my grandma was cooking to me something like this. So, so far, it's, so good. I love it. <laughs> If you like lamb and you enjoy beef, definitely, guys, try the donor. You know, I know they have they call it different ways in different places, right? Yeah, like kebab, uh, shawarma. Mm, it's very good. It's very good for sure. I mean, I, I'm enjoying my plate. My plate is very good. They made it everything. Oh, but I'm again, enjoying your plate too. All it's very the good. all the all the mixing of the. The tzatziki sauce, the onions, the potato salad, a little bit of rice, and then you got the feta cheese with the salad. All of that together, guys, is just boom, explosion. You know? <laughs> it's like boom. I love it. I mean, it's you know? definitely very delicious. I mean, we know Turkish food is very popular. Uh, you know, it's a lot of people talk about it. A lot of people love, uh, you know, Turkish food in different ways. This is definitely a great option. And I, it, it just feels fresh. The fact that they actually, you know, prepare everything here directly and um, that they are the own owner of the receipt and they actually cook it themselves. Mm -hmm. I think that's a secret because that's going to make them be a lot more authentic, you know, than any other places. So, so far, meet me. This is right here in uh, Greenville, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has been a great experience, guys, so far. So if you want to try Turkish food, Culture Blend, Maria and Jose already told you, you should come in, all right? So far, everything was so good, and I'm personally gonna visit this restaurant again and again because you guys know I love Turkish food. I love Turkey and this food is really delicious, it's healthy and I didn't even try desserts here yet so. It's been so popular, we heard a lot about this place mm -hmm. and it's definitely, we understand why, <laughs> you know? Definitely, definitely, and everybody, yes. And everybody being so good, baby. Like the owners, the, you know, all the guys working here, everybody, you know, trying Everyone to give us the best so experience. Nice to us and yeah. explain that they grow their own food, how they prepare it and I'm amazed. Everything is delicious. Yeah. What's the name of the place? And the place called Meet Me Turkish Grill. All right. It's time for desserts, and our desserts already here. Look at it. Mm. We have here some baklava, um, walnut baklava, um, pistachio, and uh, chocolate pistachio baklava. What else we have over here? When we go out, we definitely have to do dessert. Everywhere we go, definitely dessert. And one of the most important things and the most tasty thing of Turkish food it is desserts, guys. We got here kedayfi, which, if you remember, that was one of the first desserts that we tried when we went to the mm -hmm, food right. festival. And as it well. was actually my favorite one. Yeah, it was very good, and you can see right here, got a little bit of pistachio on the top, mm -hmm. and then inside everything looks very good. Guys, we're gonna try all of this. We have three different type of baklava. Mm -hmm. This is gonna get very, very interesting, and of course we have the Turkish, Turkish tea. tea. Which, if you come to this place, the Turkish tea or the Turkish coffee is complementary. So you just ask them, ask them, you know, you want to try some Turkish tea, some Turkish coffee, and they're going to bring it to you. And that's 
free of cost. Ready to try my Kadafi, I think it's the way it's called. Um, I don't know how to break it. I'm not sure how to break it, like this. I know it's very delicious, I didn't try it here. You see guys, I'm messing it up a little bit. But let's try. Guys, what do you think? I think this is the best dessert. I have to try. Look at that. I don't think I'm gonna share. I'm sorry. I don't think I'm gonna share. It don't work like that for sure. That's not delicious. It looks delicious. It is delicious. It's all right. I love it. Baklava is one of the most popular desserts probably in the whole wide world, right? Yeah. right? It's all the Mediterranean, it's very known for it. We got, like you were saying before, we got the chocolate uh, baklava, we chocolate got the pistachio. pistachio, and then we got the hazelnut as well, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see what we got. This is so the- So now you're gonna try um, pistachio, this is pistachio baklava. Yeah, this is pistachio. Oh, it looks so good. This end. This pistachio baklava. Mm -hmm. You can see a little bit of it, right? Oh, yeah. Let's try, guys. Looks very good. Oh, baby. Mm. I know. I know. You don't have to tell me. Mm. I know. I know it's good. Oh, my goodness. I'm just ready to oh, this is good. What about? Guys, hey, I ain't even. I ain't even uh, it's good. I ain't even gonna. I don't have to talk much. It's good. You know? Mm -hmm. okay, let me put this right here, but this is only for me. Oh no, I don't yes. think so. Then we're gonna have the chocolate pistachio. The chocolate pistachio mm -hmm. on the side. I think it's a very good combination. I actually never tried chocolate baklava. Mm -hmm. It looks very juicy too, right? Mm-hmm. It looks it look all. Look very good. Actually, you, totally, you can see, to you see the pistachio here? I want to steal it from you. Oh, see yeah. the pistachio right there? Oh yeah. It looks very juicy and everything. Do you want me to try? No, I don't know about all of that. Mm. Mm. That's not fair. Mm. It's an interesting combination because you got the a little bit of the strong flavor of the of the chocolate. Mm -hmm. You can feel it like in the aftertaste. Mm -hmm. But then you have the pistachio kicking in a little bit, like like the, a little touch. Mm -hmm. And then it's like kind of I don't know if it's syrup or something, but there's something that kind of blends in between both. I like. Yeah, it. I think it's syrup. For sure. I mean, these two are very good. I got the hazelnut right here. Mm -hmm. I just have a question, why three of them you the one trying? Of course, they are mine. Well, this is mine and I'm taking this one. Look at that. You oh. see what I'm saying right here? How it, is, how it looks like? It's very good. This is hazelnut. Mmm. Mmm. Maybe the hazelnut. So which one your favorite? I will say. I know they're all good, but which one? I don't know, probably the hazelnut. Can I have some? Maybe the hazelnut is good. Like, no, no joking. Bye. Taking it to my plate. I don't know about all of you that. You can hold camera. I don't I'm know taking. about all of that. I'm ready to try the uh, walnut baklava because as I said, it's very good. I'm already broken it a little bit somehow. Is that it was walnut or hazelnut? Walnut. Oh, okay, walnut. then I was saying wrong. I was a little bit broken, but. I was saying wrong all the time. Mm -hmm. Babies? You just have to try it. That's all you gotta do. This is not for I can't you. I can it. It's so good. This is not for you. It's like, I don't know, it's crazy good. All the combination of flavors is... It was very good. I love it. When I'm saying this is my favorite, I already didn't know. Baklava in this place, no, no. meet me, is... No, and you you will try the other two, and they're very good. It's just there's something about that one. <laughs> I don't know. It feels very good, for sure. Let me to... take a sip of my Turkish tea, because everything's so sweet. Let's try first this one because it probably will be stronger flavor. Yeah, chocolate is a little bit stronger flavor. Yeah, okay. you can see once you broke more in the middle, you can see the pistachio on the side. Let's try it. It's very good. The pistachio one is very good. Chocolate as well, you're gonna love it. It's 
The chocolate is strong, the flavor. It's very good. See, actually, I broke it good. You can take it just like oh, this. Ah. Chocolate, pistachio. Hmm. They're all very good. So, I don't know. I'm not fan of chocolate. This is good. It reminds me of Nutella flavor. Like, I don't know. Yeah. It's very good. It is different, guys. For sure. We're gonna have an interesting conversation now with the owners of the place. We're gonna get to know a little bit more about Turkish cuisine, what is the inspiration of it, and then a little bit more that we're gonna learn about Turkey community right now. Stay tuned. All right, guys, how are yeah. we doing today? <laughs> Great, how about you? All good, all good. I mean, I'm full now. After eating the food and everything, I'm very full. How was your experience? Oh, it was great. It was great, yeah. you know, definitely. We try, I mean, at least Mar Maria been in Turkey before. So she, yeah. she definitely yeah, she tried. Told me yeah, she tried. That. She tried food before. She always tell me she's she's crazy about the Turkish TV shows. Like yeah. she watch them all. Our customers also yeah. love the Turkish TV Oh my series. God! She yeah. watch it at home and everything. <laughs> and uh, you know, she always try to explain me all the drama and everything going yeah. on. It's funny. But uh, first time for me, I tried food, Turkish food. It was two weeks ago. You know, and then I was like. Okay, this is something different, you know, for sure. It was very good. And a lot of people tell us about this place, Meet Aww. Me. What's your name? Uh, my name is Afu, and my uh, husband is John. John. John, okay. Yeah, I mean, John. it's not like J O N or J O H N. Okay. It's like C A N, can. Can. It's it means, like can, it means but in Turkish, life. Life. Okay, so you got the meaning behind it. That's good. Yeah. That's, that's good stuff. So how long have you guys been here in the U.S.? It's been five years, five. nearly. How it comes the idea of creating food for everybody and the taste of it? <sighs> how does this idea start from the beginning? Okay, so we came to America five years ago and I bought a restaurant. Uh, we in, took over a restaurant. Yeah, uh, we took over a restaurant in downtown Spartanburg. Okay. And I realized that I can do more better. Mm -hmm. I can uh, show my uh, culture, food culture to Americans. And mm -hmm. your cooking skills? And my cooking skills there also, <laughs> because I grew up in the kitchens, 20 years maybe. I don't want to say my na uh, my uh, age, that's why. <laughs> okay, 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 we keep it that way, don't worry, we keep it that way. <laughs> I'm 50 years old. And after that, we start looking for uh, the space mm -hmm. uh, in Greenville. Uh, it was, I guess, two years ago. Yes and we opened this restaurant and here we are doing uh, something that uh, is not americanized our uh, food is not americanized it's typically uh, you can uh, taste here turkish flavors mm -hmm. original flavors mm -hmm. uh, they are very authentic i think the fact that you are cooking everything in house and preparing right. everything instead yes. of buying pre-cooked yes i think that's making a difference because i try the food it feels everything very fresh but the fact of having you know the experience for so long you know dealing with the turkish cuisine i think it make it a lot easier maybe to to make it authentic for the people you know different cultures when they open restaurants in the united states they try to change a little bit the style because yes. of course you need you want to attract yeah. different mm -hmm. type of people of course but, of course this is really normal i mean in mm -hmm. america when i go to restaurants mm -hmm. like us i realize that everything is americanized this is very normal yeah. but Everything is really uh, looking like ready, frozen, coming uh, from a pack to your plate. But I said that if I do something special, something really... Uh, it won't be like that. Homemade, it's gonna be maybe in the future, multiple location mm -hmm. restaurant, become a multiple location restaurant. I think being original is definitely... <laughs> the key you know yeah. yeah and we could feel it i mean we went through appetizers we went through main entry we went through the desserts and everything have freshness the yeah. first thing everything very healthy you know and and everybody saw in the video we don't have to you know it's, it's how everything looks everybody was here nice as well yes. you know so how long this this restaurant's been open nearly two years nearly about two years. two years yeah because we came over here by reference it's know. not something that we just went from the beginning or oh, let me let me google turkish food no we, we have people around that talk about the place then mm -hmm. we look for ourselves oh, then we look at the so ratings nice. yeah. and we was talking about how hard it is to keep the rating goods right. when it comes to a, yeah. to a restaurant so 
was being the key of offering good food, but also keeping the people to live out of here and have the time to write a positive reviews reviews on yeah. it what be the key of it we are always here we are 24 7 here we are only closed just for one day only mm. tuesdays we are closed mm. other than that we are always here when you uh, serve good food uh, with a good hospitality yes it means that you will have many regulars coming mm -hmm. and if they come here and say john hello uh -huh. yes I mean, it's, it's building a community. It, yeah, it's building a community. Yeah. It, it yeah. means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. And that, I mean, you realize it just now. Yeah. Uh, on the patio, we have many customers, and everyone was saying, Hey, how, hi, John. Uh, I bring yeah. my daughter. I mm -hmm. uh, bring my uh, son. I bring mm -hmm. my uh, yeah. friends so from important. Alabama. Yeah. That means everything. That us. means a lot. Yeah, yeah. hospitality yeah. definitely yeah. is a key. And I think, compared, I mean, yeah. all together with the flavor. And everything, yeah. I think it, it makes a big, yeah. you know. Two years in with this restaurant, That's future right. plans, hopefully opening more locations, going Hope from so. there. You know, flavor won't be a problem, <laughs> you know. <laughs> problem will be location. Get right. money, but flavor is not a problem. Um, everything is already there, right? The problem will be money. <laughs> That's the only thing. To make a little bit more money. That's good. That. That's good. It's going gonna, gonna to come around. It's going to come around and, you know, so. uh, as long as you guys, uh, I think, stay true, to, yeah. to your culture, mm -hmm. Turkish food. I mean, it's we go amazing. online, it's we go amazing. online and, and people is crazy about it. You know, people is constantly looking mm -hmm. and that, that awakening a lot of curiosity in people. Yeah, it happened right. to me yeah. as well. We definitely wish you the best and the business. We are definitely gonna be a regulars now, <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, as, you. you know, a little bit far, far away from the video, it's just good food, we love to eat. And if it's good, hospitality, everything feels very good, guys. Thank you. So anything that you guys can say to the people in Turkey that is watching you from there, your own community, or the, or the community, the Turkey community right here in the United States? Yeah, of course, we have a nice community here. Yeah. I mean, we have even Turkish friends over there. Right there? Okay. It's a limited community, of course. Uh -huh. uh, we, we are not so crowded here, yeah. uh, but in, you know. But we have a nice community here. We have here. A really uh, yeah. nice friends here. Mm -hmm. Mm. But of course, most of our customers are from the States. From the States. Yeah. Okay. What do we say to the people to come visit this place? Please come and try us. <laughs> and how do we say that in Turkey as well? Hadi bize katılın. Let me try my Turkey. Hadi bize katılın. Okay. Let's say, lütfen bizi deneyin. Lütfen bizi deneyin. Bize bir şans verin. Give us a chance. Oh, don't, change, a chance. don't change it every time. Yes. Just, just say only just say, one, just one, 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 one word. Sentence. One word. Okay. <laughs> Lütfen meet me deneyin. There you go. Please try meet me. Please try to meet, meet me. Lutvan, yeah. meet me. Definitely. <laughs> Guys, it's been for us a pleasure. For Thank sure. Thank you. It's been a pleasure for Thank us. Thank you so much Thank for the food, for the hospitality. That. Thank you. And we're going to be around. Okay? Course, we're going to be around. Thank 100% you. will be there for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.